Yes, I know what it's like to be a Jew who wants to be part of the community and doesn't know if she's going to be accepted. My name is Lauren Tuckman. I am the first, as I am aware, the first blind woman in the world to become a rabbi. I am currently in my fifth and final year of rabbinical school at the Jewish Theological Seminary. I am originally from Bethesda, Maryland, um, and I have been living in New York for about seven years off and on. I was not Jewishly involved growing up. I became more Jewishly involved in high school and college. Um, Hillel was a very big part of that journey. And after college, I knew that I wanted to explore Judaism more deeply. And Bezrat Hashem, I will be ordained in May of 2018. I am incredibly blessed to be at a time in the rabbinate where there are so many amazing voices entering the conversation, and I feel really blessed and privileged to be one of them. Disability inclusion is very much part of my um, portfolio, and it is absolutely an area that I plan to be focusing a lot of my time and attention on. I mean, one of the things I like to say about people with disabilities is that we are excellent and agile innovators, and that um, being able to innovate is really a huge part of the skill set that we just acquire. Um, text, I think, is really the biggest access issue. If you are someone who does not have access to your own Braille embosser, which is a machine that allows for the hard copy printing of Braille materials, the access to resources for those who do not have the means of production on their own are incredibly scant. One of the things that I feel very deeply committed to changing is that reality on the ground. Braille across all languages looks the same. One of the challenges that we have as Hebrew speakers and readers is that because Braille was created in the 1830s for a Western and Latin alphabet, there is no way for Braille to be written and read in any way other than left to right, which affects Hebrew and Arabic. Um, and I, I deeply believe a lot of the Torah that I try to teach in the world is that idea that we reveal Torah in its fullness when we are including the totality of our people. And that's what makes me feel such a tremendous sense of gratitude and zechut or merit to be a rabbi at this time in our history. I cannot overstate the indebtedness that I feel to all of the women who've come before me and all the people with disabilities who've come before me without whom this trail that I'm blazing would not be possible. As a rabbi, I really have, a, I have an obligation to speak in favor of a warm and welcoming and embracing Judaism that welcomes all who seek to be under the wings of the Shekhinah. So that's what I try to do.